Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Farhan Tahir. I'm a rheumatologist and a pain management physician. My passion is to talk to you about inflammation, pain, and arthritis. I believe that if I share with you the knowledge that I have acquired over years about these diseases, I'll be able to give you some tools and some in-depth knowledge how to prevent some of the complications of these diseases. In medicine, we are always looking forward to ways how can we diagnose diseases before they become a full-blown problem. And cardiovascular complications in patients with rheumatoid arthritis or autoimmune diseases has always been an area of great interest. Currently, we do not have a standard way of predicting if somebody who has an autoimmune disease or rheumatoid arthritis what is their risk of cardiovascular death? How can we tell them where do they stand? Well, most traditional tests, such as angiography or stress tests, they're not done until you have symptoms. But what about if somebody does not have the symptoms and you want to prevent the disease before it becomes a bigger issue? Maybe there is a way that you can predict that the patient is at a higher risk and I usually talk to my patients about predicting their inflammation and monitoring that level with certain blood tests. These blood tests are called sedrate or C-reactive protein. They detect inflammation in our body and we can check it easily by doing a blood test. I also advise them to do fasting lipids every six months that can also tell them if they have high lipids that may predict cardiovascular disease. Uh, in the future. But an interesting study was conducted in England and the information that I'm going to share with you I found it very interesting. Well there is a certain way we diagnose patients who are having acute coronary syndrome or acute heart attack. When somebody goes to an emergency room and tell them that they're having chest pain doctors do certain tests. They do EKG and they do blood tests. What do they look into the blood test is a type of protein that is released from their tissue or a damaged heart muscle and that is called troponin. Scientists have now started looking into a test called highly sensitive troponin and researchers used this highly sensitive troponin test as a marker to predict if somebody is going to have a high risk of heart attack. This concept was applied to rheumatology patients, patients with rheumatoid arthritis. So about 1,000 patients were enrolled into the study. They were traditional patients with rheumatoid arthritis aged between 59 and 60, mostly women. And their traditional blood work was done as standard of care to diagnose them with rheumatoid arthritis. But for these patients, for the next seven years, they also were checked for highly sensitive troponin test. And this was used to see if it was affiliated or associated with a higher risk of heart attack down the line. Well, it, it was found out that patients who have high, high levels of this highly sensitive troponin test had actually high all-cause mortality and especially cardiovascular mortality. They were close to two and a half times higher risk of all-cause premature death when they had the highest percentages of this troponin test. Patients who had the lowest levels of this test versus the highest level, there was about six times higher risk of death, premature cardiovascular death in this group of patients. So this might be a breakthrough for us to identify if we can screen patients who have a lot of inflammation, joint pain, and high inflammatory markers, 
maybe those will be the patients we should also look for highly sensitive C-reactive protein to detect their risk of having a heart attack and maybe we can prevent somebody to have a premature death. I thought this was very interesting and I wanted to share with you. So please share this information with your loved ones. If you happen to have rheumatoid arthritis, be proactive about your cardiovascular health. Go and talk to your doctor and see if they can do something for you. Maybe they can advise you on checking your lipids, maybe inflammatory markers, maybe they can advise you to eat healthy. Maybe a de-inflammatory diet will help. And maybe one day this highly sensitive C-reactive protein will become a screening method for our patients to detect risk of premature cardiovascular death. I wish you the best of luck for your health and wellness. Please visit me again for new updates on my channel. Take care.